Uh, the next thing that I practiced over and over is that extension scale. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the extended scale and then some of the variations of it. So if we're still playing the A minor pentatonic scale. Then our root is right there on the fifth of the E string. And the extension starts on the third of the E string. That's still the root. You know, that feels like home base, but we're going to start a whole step lower. It's in the scale. It's not the root. Same thing on the A string. We always want to keep, you know, in the lessons, I always say, know where your root is. And that, that's still very important. And then slide. Five seven, five seven, slide. Weird finger change, index finger on the eighth of the B. Ring finger up a hole. Same thing on the high E. So we're only using our index and our ring finger for this whole thing. We go backwards. We just want to run that with alternate picking. So what I did there was I first I did uh, eighth notes. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven. You know, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So subdividing, let's say, two notes per beat. And actually, when you get to that high E there on the 10th, you can slide that up a whole step as well. On the way back, ring finger. Like I said before, it's only your index and ring finger. Also want triplets. Triple, uh, triple, uh, triple, uh, triple. Uh, uh. And then also when you're not paying attention or not even plugged in, you know, I can even turn down for you just to give you an example. You know, I'm watching a game on TV. And maybe I'm not even doing this, you know, I'm even talking to you right now as I'm practicing it. So maybe I'm not playing it perfect, but I am uh, getting this muscle memory going on this scale. And okay, I also don't want to forget to do that as well. Also, practicing it where when I play that, I hammer it, and then when I get to the A string, I hammer that. So you can play really fast that way. And I'm pulling off on the way back. Check this out. There's a couple of variations. One is turning it, and I've kind of coined it the uh, like the dominant funk extension, um, which is basically what we're doing is we're changing it to more uh, what would become from like you'd call a mixolydian. But it's really it's just getting this major third of this A7 in there, and that major third is a C sharp. And I mean, obviously, we want to be able to play it in all the keys 
But so what we're going to do is we're going to add it in that extension. And there's a very specific way that makes it kind of in that R&B funky soul blues side of things. And it's going like this. So I'm hammering it from three to four. Then I go to five and I slide up. Same thing's gonna be right there on the sixth fret of the G. Then seven, slide. Eight, 10. Eight to nine, hammer on. specifically working over like an A dominant chord as opposed to an A minor chord. back we want to go like this 10 8 9 hammer on down the extension we're right there on the seventh hammer from five to six down the extension hammer three to four five three five so when you put them both together obviously you know starting to throw this stuff together but so what we have to recap in the extension scale is to run it as many ways as you can picking every note sliding and pulling off with notes if this is the A minor pentatonic extended scale, it's also the C major pentatonic extended scale. And you'd want to run it with that in mind as well. Slides and picking. whether you're playing the A minor pentatonic extended or you're playing that dominant funk extension that I just showed you, we can also add the blues note. And it's still in the same spot. Right there, the sixth fret of the A, and it's also on the eighth fret of the G, but then it's also on the eleventh fret of the high E. And that's a passing tone that we can add, whether it's without that major third, time I'm using my ring finger and going Improvising, you're not going to be running it up and down like that. But I recommend you practicing that. You know, if you're improvising, you might use 
elements of everything. So, to recap, we've got the extended scale. You can turn it into the uh, funk dominant extension. And then also elements of the adding the blues note. Blues note with that dominant extension. Mm -hmm. 